What should I say to mom when she wakes up? There's so much I want to talk to her about. Thank you. 
This is embarrassing, but how do I look? Yubito, do you... Yeah, what is it? It's always so cold here. The flower we're looking for is probably higher up. Yeah, we might have to go to the summit. This climate isn't its natural environment. Okay, let's go to the summit then. This is pretty rare. That one explodes. Don't get too close. Drain your health. Careful. It's down. Give it everything you've got. Next. Attention! Okay, Pop! Give me your shield! Oh, 
Thank you. Your combat abilities have really improved. Good job. Next. Looks like you were right after all. So it. Close by. Wait. Oh. oh no. What? What do you see? An other is walking near the flowers. It'll crush them. Let's hurry. No. I guess we can't just shoo it away. Watch out. Here it comes. Get ready to fight! Understood. It's split! Take down the real ones and the dummy will disappear. Figure it out! I need your help! Water it! Getting wet limits your mobility, so be careful. I'll be your shield! Don't get cocky! Found the weak spot! Yeah! Okay, use it. Here you go. I need your help. I'm following this guy. Everything. Is everyone okay?
should do it. Are the flowers okay? They were trampled. They're almost crushed. If we had only found them sooner. It looks like almost half of them are still to me. I saw below the ground with my clairvoyance. The stems are broken and the roots are twisted. They're all hurt. No way. Not even a single one survived? Some are just weak. I think they'll recover. It will take time, though. I see. Well, at least we saved them from being completely wiped out. But... I don't... I don't know what to do. I plan to bring the flowers back with me. Will they just wilt if you bring them down the mountain like this? With the right nutrients, they'll be fine. I've thought about how to cultivate them, so I'm pretty confident. But the environment I'd be growing them in would be harsh for them. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. You're such a kind person. Would you to the idea of just leaving these flowers here? This is the best environment for them, so they'll be healthy here. But you like these flowers. Are you sure? Just the fact that I was able to see them blooming makes me happy. And you worked hard for that to happen. So, what do you think? I... If the flowers are happy, I don't want to ruin that. Okay. Let's go then. Yeah. <sighs> hey. How come you wanted to bring the flowers back with you? Huh? Oh, um, it's a rare flower. I wanted to try to grow it myself. So a little intellectual curiosity then? Guess you're like a botanist. When I grow a new plant, it's like I get a new friend. It makes me happy. I see. Well, now you have a long distance friend. We should come visit the flowers again. Sure. Um, and... Hmm? Was there another reason? It's nothing. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's obviously another reason. Uh, now I really want to know what it is. But it's not like I can force her to tell me. Well, I'm sure she'll tell me eventually. We should get back to the hideout and get some rest. I didn't really talk to Kasane about the fact that the person who raised her was my mother. Hey, Kasane! Sure, what is- I wanted to- Uh... I thought it would be best to talk some- So you want to get some field training? Great! This isn't a picnic. Good. Then we'll leave in an hour. We don't get to do this too often, so I'll make the best lunch-
<sighs> Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. She's not saying anything. Maybe she doesn't like some of the vegetables. Or maybe I tried too hard? I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. She is rather indifferent sometimes. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to action in the OSF. I don't have memories went away until I was adopted. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about 10 years. Were you in cryogen or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, so that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if Mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Stop it. The only Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay. I won't say it anymore. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she can stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. Right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. <laughs> really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Laugh, but... When I actually didn't hurt her, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. I actually did cry a little, though. Why were you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is- Let's get a workout in before we head back. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. She said it doesn't suit her, but she is like a big sister sometimes. What? You look like you want to say something. <laughs> Let's go.
Hey, I take back what I said. Arashi told me that calling someone a good person isn't always a compliment. Hmm. I think it's usually used as a compliment. Oh. That's good then. I think I understand you a little better now. Really? I'm happy to hear you say that. I'm sorry I made you all worry. Are you all right? I'm fine, and we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? What are they? We should head to the Kunad Gate before I explain it further. Okay. Then we'll go to the Kunad Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time, in the present? And that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we almost ready to leave? Oh, yeah. We are- Uh, Mom? You're just like your father. Huh? No. Kaito is the one who looks like Dad. Actually, people tell me I'm not much like- I'm not talking about your face. It's how you act. Yuito, about your father... I'm sorry I didn't tell you what he was doing. He did awful things, but it was him that saved me from Togetsu. He was kind. Oh. Kaito said he would change this country, too. He's wanted to be a politician ever since he was little. But I guess he could only take your father's path as well. Kaito did. But I... It's alright. You and Kaito are your father's and my children. I know you'll make up someday. Right. Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kunad Gate. You said something about entanglements? Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunad Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunad Gate is created, but it should then disappear. 
The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunad Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunad Gate. Distorted? I don't really get it yet. But when you say, enter the Kunad Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? That strange space. Is it inside the Kunad Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space that Kasane mentioned exists inside the Kunad Gate. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red String's power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps it's or junction point for traveling through time. Hmm. So only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. When there is time contact between 2020 when the gate was made and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt. Basically, if someone with the Red String's power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. Even if we find the entanglements, we won't know how to unravel them until we see them. The Kronos Terminal is conceptualized by powers, so you'll know how to unravel them. Not with reason, but with intuition. Also, I'm weak, but I can use the red strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the red strings again and enter the Kronos Terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. We will protect Wakana. All right, we don't have much time. Let me know when you're ready. Mom, I saw you for all these years, but we haven't really talked. I get that the situation won't allow it, but... Good to go, Kasane? I'm ready. Focus your consciousness together. Picture the site of the Kronos Terminal. To the Kronos Terminal. We will unravel those entanglements. It looks like we actually made it. Are each of those images connected to different times? We can't just stand around. We have to search for the entanglements. <laughs> I guess it's nothing new when it's your third time. So, how do we find them? I don't feel anything yet. This is... It must be Mother. 
Is she guiding us? Let's go. Others? How are they inside the Kronos Terminal? Calm down. That place is built from your consciousness. It's an imaginary world. It is a very unstable place. Your fear and anxiety, all of your emotions affect it. The memories of your past made others appear. So basically, you're saying that these others were created by our mental immaturity. <laughs> that makes us sound pretty lame. But if we made them, we can take them down, too. I know the two of you can handle it, but be careful. So if our consciousness has made it, is this other an illusion? I'll leave it to it you. It sure looks real. As long as your brain thinks so, it's the same as if it was. Let we me have to fight it. This is the old OSF hospital on that day in 2009. It's an entanglement. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I can feel it. This is definitely it. If we want to successfully unravel this, then I'm betting that we have to use the red strings, our power. Yes. I feel it too. We should be able to make this work. Ah, another one! Let's hold it off while we unravel the entanglement. Alright. I know we can do it. Right, you tell? Yeah, right. Keep it up. Let's go. Let me use your power. Double the power. Everything. Keep it up. I'll be your shield. Go, Yuito! 